Okay, today's video, this is a guaranteed, um, this is not clickbait, all right? Not clickbait at all here. Guaranteed sales funnel that you can use on Facebook to start making money right away, essentially, or as quick as you could put this together. Of course, it takes a little time to put it together, but right away, once you start putting this together, you will start making money. I can guarantee you that in and itself. So, Guaranteed sec, uh, success sales funnel to run on Facebook, which involves marketing groups. I'm going to share with you what the plan is, exactly how to set it up, how we've gotten results for other companies doing this, because we're a PPC agency here. We don't actually run um, personal training companies. We don't run hair restoration groups or companies that sell products related to that. We don't sell business opportunity products here. We help those people get the results. What I'm reporting back to you here is simply a, reflect, a reflection of their results and actually getting the results just one time for one client, having coming up with this idea myself, as it made logical sense. Why is it nobody doing this? Nobody else, as far as I know, is talking about it. Certainly there's gotta be somewhere, somewhere someone's somewhere doing this, but what I can tell you is it absolutely works. It will, should work basically every single time. And I'm gonna tell you exactly the markets where it did work, how much it worked, how to put it all together. So with all that said, hopefully I get you excited about enough about the video and the money-making opportunity that I'm giving to you here today. So with that said, we'll get into the content. I found a great way to make a self perpetuating sales funnel on Facebook that will keep working better and better the longer you keep running it. Most sales funnels, of course, already do this themselves, but they don't, the, the physical sales funnel that you set up actually it itself improves the longer you keep running it because the customers that you get make the funnel better and better and better. So of course, Facebook is when you run a campaign, their algorithm, if you got your tracking set up right, is gonna keep getting you more and more sales at the same cost or leads at the same cost that you, uh, or same budget, I should say, on an ongoing basis. But your sales funnel, using this particular sales funnel that I'm giving you that revolves around groups, or a group to be specific, will actually keep getting better the more sales you make and what you'll see here by and with how we have this set up and we've, what we've done for other companies here. So I've mentioned on this channel many times that the best thing you can lead with as a company is to lead just simply with your results. People don't buy drills, they buy drill uh, holes in the wall, right? Everybody's kind of pretty much heard this saying, um, well, with that, in a lot of markets, it's not about they buy holes, but they buy holes from companies that can prove to them that they will also get the results of the hole, like, you know, in general. And so it's not just knowing every result exists, but will it actually work for me? And so with that, leading with the results, if that's ever an issue, even just a little teeny bit, you should be leading with the results every time in those situations. This funnel here takes this to the nth degree. So anyway, with that set, here's the actual sales funnel that we're using here in several markets now. That works. Give you, I'm going to give you the results. The ROI is 1,000% plus on the campaign and once you've been running it for a little while. In every single instance, I'm gonna give you the markets and then of that, you'll be able to go to town doing this for your own business if you'd like. So the funnel starts out like this. You're gonna create a Facebook group. Pretty simple, anybody can do that part. But what to do with that group, you're gonna share, you gotta have something that provides results, proven results that basically uh, will get results for your customers every time if they're qualified. And if you don't have that already in your business, then what the hell are you doing? It's, if you don't, if you have a scammy product, there's plenty of working products out there that you could find where you can get re good results. But with those results, too many people don't eat their own dog food as, as they call it, um, 
basically use your own product to get those results. Maybe you don't need those results if you're not bald and you're selling a, a product that cures baldness. Um, if you can't physically demonstrate yourself how this helped yourself, find somebody and do quote unquote testing on them and then document all the results yourself. With those results, share those results on your new group that you set up. The group is not gonna have any people in it yet, so nobody's gonna see it, but you're just priming the pump here for the funnel that you're gonna create that is gonna dump traffic in and people that to join the group in that group itself. So we'll just talk about a fitness group. If we're talking about, if you're a personal trainer and you wanted to get more personal training clients, maybe you have courses that you sell, both are fine. This is a real scenario where we work with somebody in the health space that was helping people get in shape, lose weight, that kind of thing. It wasn't exactly personal trainer because the client's gonna get pissed off if we tell them exactly if they find this video <laughs> and we tell them exactly that their campaign's working, but it's, it's that same end result. A person is getting in better health. We had them document basically in their day-to-day -day how they're getting the results. We shared that in the group. Several instances of this, okay? Anybody can obviously do this, so document your results, share that res those results in your new group that you set up as if people are there to see it already. Name your group, of course, something related to like, if you're doing fit, if you're helping people lose weight, fitness community, okay? A and, you know, i.e. what you're gonna be able to achieve by entering that group. What's the end result that you're gonna help people do? Once you've gotten that far, um, you're gonna be able to help others do the same thing that, that you've already helped locally. So, in other words, um, if you're a personal trainer, going back to that, you, can, you would document what you're doing with your current clients to help them lose weight and, or whatnot build muscle, whatever it is that you're mainly focusing on helping people do. You document that stuff and you share it in the group as if people are there to see it. Of that, outside of your group, unpaying clients, you can help them out and say, hey, normally I charge for this service. I will help you out. All I'm gonna ask you to do is, I will give you the tips and I will help, and." You know, I'll help you give you tips long term. You may not be able to give you the full personal training service unless you hire me, but I can show you what we're doing with our other clients that are getting the results, and I can give you personalized advice, even though I can't be there for every workout. And with that advice, I will communicate with you through our group here that I've set up. Of course, the group is not very big yet. There's just a couple people in there. It's basically just, you know, two, three of our, of our clients, but through that group, I will help you out any question that you have about executing how to be able to do get better, bigger muscles or lose weight. Through that group, you just ask me on that group and I'll answer your question. So now you've got somebody that's gonna be asking you questions through this group to build up more content. And then you go to another person, you do the same thing. Get five, 10, 15, 20, 30 people all asking you questions for free from, you, you're supposed to be the expert in your domain, so they're also asking you questions for free. You're answering those questions. They're, of course, looking at the documented results you have there, so they're excited about continuing to, you know, trying to ask you questions and, and do and believe what you say. And then, of course, those people will start to get results, and when they say, hey, what about this? Uh, here's the answer, you wanna do this and this. Hey, you wanna post uh, an update on how you're doing, what your hairline look like, or in this exact example that I gave you, um, what's, what's your after photo look like? What's, what was your photo before and after? Like, we wanna see how much results you got. And then the, the people that you're helping out for free through the group are gonna start sharing their results. And then this is actually how you're gonna physically create a, a small, start with a small kindling and turn it into a brush fryer in terms of that group and building it up. And it won't take very much of offering free advice before people will start to come in there and interact with each other directly because they all kind of know your philosophy and then they can just help 
things that you told one person, they could tell the other person for you. And this will particularly work if you are going to do this with people that are local to your community. So share personal methods of getting success in one area in your group, then help others do the same thing locally, then communicate with that person long-term through that group. So if they try to call you, they try to email you, they try to text you, you're not gonna help them. You can tell them, I can help you, but it must be through the group. So you keep building up content of that group until it can take on a life of its own. Uh, for a personal trainer, you always deal with people locally anyway. And as the free people you're helping out, they all have to be local. Whatever business you're doing, if you're doing, you sell a hair restoration product, and you, you're technically trying to sell it nationwide, your people that you're gonna be helping are all gonna be people in your local town. Um, and if you're a, a town of like around 50,000 people kind of seems to work the best in terms of scope. And um, so with that, you're building up content from all these people who got results in your specific town. This, com this comes in very, very important for the ROI and the cost per lead and all this that you're gonna be able to generate in future steps as we start to promote this group. But that's the base of what you're gonna do. You're gonna create this group, you're gonna be helping people one-on-one -on -one through the group, answering their questions there, sharing some of the other customers' results that you have there yourself, and then encouraging the people you're helping through the group, if they're gonna to continue to get help, are gonna to have to share their results as well. And then through that, you'll get more really enticing content, and then people will find this group eventually at some point and start to request to get in, but not for a while. For the most part, yeah. the, reason, the hardest part of just starting and getting a group going is to have people find the group. And, but if you start out doing what I mentioned there and just have a few people sharing you know, their feedback and asking you questions there, at that stage, you could get the group to have a life of its own through advertising that group. So once you got that far, as I mentioned so far, where you are helping 10, 20 people or 30 people on a one-on-one -on -one basis through the group, asking them their questions there, and then at you asking them and having them share their progress that they're getting there in the group and having shared other clients or customers that you work with and their results to, to serve as an example, to get other people you're helping for free to share their results, like I said, you're gonna advertise the other people getting success on Facebook newsfeed and Instagram newsfeed. So of that, you're gonna share your customers' success stories and uh, examples and stuff in that group, like I said. And then the other people you're helping for free, but only interact by interacting through that group directly, okay, they're gonna to have to share their success at some point, that or get out. Either you're gonna get results, you're gonna share them, or I'm not gonna help you for free anymore. That's tough love. Uh, but with that, the people that are you're helping for free, the people that get the results, you're gonna, the, the deal here is you could, you, you tell them in advance, but you, obviously you don't have to. You could take the results, they do a before and after photo, and then you're going to advertise that person's results to get more people into the group physically. So this is where a lot of people fail. They want their, a group is just, first of all, so powerful. They have a whole community of people that are interacting, people that it, it's intoxicating. And the authority you build up as a person who runs a group like that is extreme and to the point where you could get your army of people there to do almost anything you want, including buy your products and services, which we're gonna get into and why we're actually doing this. So, but what gets people excited to go to a group they never heard or seen before or not ready to enter a group at the time? They're not, you know, most people that join groups are searching for a group, right? Maybe they see an invitation from Facebook in their newsfeed to go to a group, but for the most part, they don't join a group unless they're ready to join a group, right? If we advertise an ad that says what Joey's results was how, having dropped 30 pounds in six weeks, and we say on that ad, Joey is actually your, from your, your neighbor, from your local community, and he's sharing how and why he did this in the group, now I have a distinct reason to go and, and 
and join that group now. You've given me a specific reason and we can get in front of that person that we want to join the group with the ad. So moving forward here, you're going to target other people that you want to join the group because we know if we're going to get them to join the group that the likelihood that they're going to buy from us absolutely skyrockets to the point where most of the time you can get them to buy your products and services just once we join the group. It's a different way, a different spin on things. Most people think to sell, I have to sell, send them to a landing page, and this and that. No, a much more efficient model most of the time is getting them into a group that's got active and full of people that are just chock full of people getting results with your mantra, your philosophies, your products. That's going back to what I said before, leading with the results that it does the selling for you already. And it's a much more efficient way of selling than selling them and telling them you get them, you get the results and you have 50 reviews physically showing other people that will that are showing that are having the results on display and being able to go to that person and say, Hey, is this a real, is this, are these real results? Yeah, 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 yeah. These are real results. And to be able to do that to 50 different people in a group, there's nothing that matches that really. So with that, you know, you're going to, like I said, you can market one person's results that they shared and, displayed in your group to other people you want to join the group because once they're in the group you could sell to them basically anything and but you're not going to just market to anybody you're going to specifically market to people since these are all people in your town they're all the people in Long Beach California in this group talking about their weight loss so with that um, you are going to market to people that are in Long Beach California a person who sees that somebody's getting results in their little local town is roughly 10 times more profitable to attract and 10 times less costly to attract and get their attention than it is somebody outside their local area. So this local hack, having built the group locally, micro, you know, hyper locally first, will help you get the numbers on the campaign that you want to be and need to be profitable in what we're getting with our clients' campaigns. So you take, you know, XYZ person's results that they shared in that group and put it in front of anybody in the same town that have an interest that matches whatever your product or service or solution is supposed to um, fix or what the group is there to fix itself. More so specifically what the group is there to fix and do for people. So if it's a uh, you're a personal trainer and this is a group about working out and getting in shape, the group, you know, is, uh, sorry, the interest targeting will, you'll want to target people that are looking to be healthy, so on and so forth. And so with that, it's a group full of people that are getting in shape in Long Beach and you're targeting people in Long Beach who care about getting in shape. It's super relevant to what they would want to see, i.e. somebody in their local community who wants to get in shape and, and are and one and then with that you're piquing their curiosity to know how this person in my local community how they're doing it hey I might even know that person or I've heard of them or whatever or who is that and so we have a really strong uh, pull to get somebody that person who's seen that ad to get into our group with that to give you an example of the type of ad you're going to use here I'm going to go deviate to a, a a business opportunity into the business opportunity space, which means business opportunity is just like money-making methods, um, opportunities to start a business, that type of thing. We did this, this worked so well in a health space before that we did this in the business opportunity space and it worked just as good or even better. The guy had a, this isn't the exact, exact niche, but Basically, he had a way to start a local business um, it, and didn't have to be local to that city, but it was a local business that anyone could start. And the guy wanted to sell courses and coaching to people who wanted to start that specific type of business. You could think of like, if I was a laundromat consultant, I would help people make more money from their laundromats. In this particular case, then you could start a local group right, that helps people start laundromats. And then once you get 
the people communicating with you to get free questions answered in that group, some people talking about what you've told them to do worked and it got, they got XYZ results, you take those results and then now you can advertise them to people who are interested in starting a laundromat or just in this case, we just started targeting people that were entrepreneurs or interested in making money because anything that makes money is interested to somebody who's not, you know, who wants to make money, right? And we had an ad that was pretty much like this. See John making a hundred per day in cleaning cars in Long Beach. So it's like, huh, this person's making a hundred bucks a day cleaning cars, huh? I got to know what that is particularly as it's somebody in my town. How the hell are they doing this? I want to know how they're doing it in my town. So they want to know how this person from their town got all these results. See how John is making $100 per day cleaning cars in Long Beach. The headline, so, and that's pretty much what you're going to have in the image part of the ad if you just want to copy our formula. And then the headline I was also going to say the city name in it to really drill in the, you know, the festering to get that person really hot and bothered to want to need to go to that group and find out how that person did it. And because it's in a group, it seems real. It's not on a website that you own. Oh yeah, that could be fake, but it's somebody in the group. I really, I know this is real I, and I got to know, particularly as I feel like I'm competing against people in my local area. Headline will say Long Beach Cleaning Cars Group. So it's like, wow, there's a whole group dedicated to this as well? I got it double wow. Not only have I see how this guy did it, but I got to see how these other people are doing it. So that's the general ad that you're going to hit somebody with. In this case, with them, it was targeting people that were interested in entrepreneurship and so forth. And we're in Long Beach seeing the ad that said, see John making 100 per day cleaning cars in Long Beach, and then headline, Long Beach Cleaning Cars Group, to get that person to want to go to the group. Now, here's the interesting uh, part. With the ad, if they click on the ad to want to go to the group, you don't just send them to the group. In fact, you can't do that. What you can do, however, and would want to do anyway, is right away when they click the ad, it's going to be a Facebook lead ad. So when they click the ad, a Facebook lead ad form comes up, which if you don't know what that is, that's basically just a contact form that a person could fill out while they're on Facebook still. They don't even have to go to a website to get their contact information. Their information could be downloaded by a Facebook that pe for people that enter it, or it could be sent to your CRM system, whatever you're using, whether that's Zoho, Salesforce, HubSpot, whatever. So with that said, your lead form comes up and says specifically, um, you know, like we want, want you to be able to join the uh, clean, what did I say, cleaning cars group. And in order to do it, all you need to do is fill out this short questionnaire first name, last name, email address. Once they fill that out, it says, thank you. Here's the link to the group. So they don't know where the group is until they fill out that form. Then they click the link, they go to the group and you could have it open so they don't have to request access or they can request access. It's up to you. You know, it's debatable either way. I think it makes it look more cool if it's not, if it's a private group and you had to give up your information to be able to enter it and just the mystique of it gets people to feel like there's more value there and the more likely to stick with, you know, instead of just taking a peek and then never hearing or thinking about it again. We've done it both ways, but with that l Facebook lead form there, you can get their email address, which they're giving it up very, very easily. If you're wondering why they're giving up their information just to go see a group, because we put so much value in how hyper-targeted we make, made the ad and the pitch and the offer, and it's so good, they're willingly giving it up, you know, basically 50% or greater of the time after clicking on that ad, they just don't care. That should always be your goal, um, anything you're offering. If you're getting people that won't fill out your form or having trouble with it, first thing you should think about is improving your offer. And, you, and then with that, how targeted or drilled down your targeting is will make that offer seem good or okay based upon how targeted you go. Specifically in one major example going how 
local how local how locally targeted it is because you can now say you know people in your town are getting these results and we want to sell to it because you're in this town and then therefore anything you're said with that actually just becomes amplified and that much more enticing particularly is after you could say there's customers from your town like we are here so anyway you take that email address you feed it into your email system like get response or hubspot or mailchimp or whatever you want to use and you start sending them an email a day or an email a week with the results that you get from other people so they can just keep burying them with hey look this person's getting results this person's getting results this person's getting results to make them is make them you know more and more 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 and more believe that the result they can get results as well because going back to what i said before a lot of times you could show them all these results that other clients have gotten or uh, customers have gotten but even when they see all that they still don't they still wonder will it work for me and the more examples of people fat skinny tall black asian whatever white <laughs> that they see getting the results the more you know kid elderly grandpa that they see getting results the more they're going to think it's going to work for them so having more than one example certainly helps and so you just keep showing them through the email and you can communicate with them obviously at some point you can use that email and the attention you're getting through showing them that kind of content to ask them to buy something as well but the main thing is they get to the group particularly if they had a request to join the group but not just that with that it could just be once they get to the group if they're in there looking for that person and while they're looking for that person that was shown on the ad they see four other people that got similar results if they show interest in that at all you have basically got them because they're going to now be involved in that group now. If they're in, actually involved in that group, they didn't just take a quick peek and leave, that's all they ever did. Your ability to sell to them is like almost assured at that point, like 100%. As the owner of a group that they're actively a member of and like and believe and respect, you are in now position to sell to them. In fact, basically, in all three of the different occasions where we've ran a funnel like this, roughly basically 20% plus of the people that are active in your group will be able to buy your course, your products, your coaching, whatever you want to sell to them. Same was the case with the in the uh, health space that we were talking about. Same thing in the business opportunity space. The guy who was selling the, uh, wanted to sell courses for Again, it wasn't in the car cleaning space, but like the laundromat space, uh, wanted to sell courses on how to run a profitable laundromat. Once they were in the group, more than 20% of the people would buy their course. And the course was not cheap. We're talking about a four figure cost on the course. Once they see all these people making you know, a 10% return on the, their laundromat, because they know all the tips and the tricks and to do this and to do that, they're already sold on it. And then you come with the, you're the master, you're the, the um, the uh, sensei here that you know basically put all this together. You, if they are going to consider doing that, of course they're going to buy your course, or at least if they're on the fence, they'll buy your course to make sure that everything else that they read and seen so far is true. So you could sell courses, products, anything you could think of. You could sell to these active group members now. Uh, the fact that they're in the group while they're active in the group you're going to be able to sell to them. And so what you do is once they're, you've got the ad that gets them to part of the group later on, anybody who has uh, actually filled it or clicked on your lead ad form or went to your Facebook page, because a lot of people will go to your Facebook page to check you out there or went to your website if they made it there somehow, you're now going to have a direct pitch, another ad. So this is a funnel that's going to say, Hey, would you, you should consider our course or, you know, coaching or whatever. And since they're active in that group, you're going to pitch it as, Hey, I am the owner of the cleaning cars group. I actually made a, a, a hell of a course on the, uh, the cleaning cars business. And 
how to make money cleaning cars in the Long Beach area like these other people are doing. I condensed everything now. And since I'm the one who, would, who started the group, I actually have all the information that even goes beyond probably mostly what you know right now. And if you're seriously considering this or just want to know how profitable it is, you know, how much you can make per year, so on and so forth, you'll find it all in this course. You're going to sell a shitload of courses to that group of people. So the whole, you know, thing is, is to be able to get people who are interested in making money to be able to get them into the group. Cause once you're in the group, the other ad that you have that shows up for them after the end of the group is going to convert like mad. You're going to, so whereas that ad itself to that same person wouldn't be profitable, it will be profitable once they've been in the group. You'll get that, you know, thousand percent plus ROI from your campaign because you've got somebody who knows you, trusts you, respects you, all that stuff at, at that particular point in time. And so instead of just pushing that stuff in the group, which would make the group seem less cool, less trustworthy, kind of taint it. You have other ads that market to the person. You, you position yourself as the person who started the group and invented a lot of these methods that people are using and, and want you to, and you know, get, get that person to consider the master's guide on it from the person who, who started the group that you're in and you'll sell a bunch of people that way. You know, of course you have other ads there that, that show up for people that are in the group already. Then you have their email address and you can market to them through email, which, you, you'll nurture more and more of the respect that way. So maybe they're in the group, but they forgot about it but because you're emailing them. They'll keep re be reminded, Hey, this person's gotten, th th this person's making 300 a day. So you got to go back to the group and see how and why. And then they get another email. This person's making 400 a day. And the more times you get them to go back, the more the habit's going to be built up. So you use the email to reinforce the group and keep them remembering and engaged in it. And then, you know, if they're engaged in it at all, basically, like I said, any ad that positions them to buy from the so-called uh, owner of the group will work extremely good. So, and in a lot of cases, uh, you may seriously want to consider if you are selling something for a thousand bucks to generate leads. So, uh, if you would like to speak to the owner of the group for about, you know, starting up your car washing business, we will offer you a a free 15 minute consultation, or I will offer you a free 15 minute consultation. With that, you'll, know, you'll be able to ask any questions that you have. And then at the end of the conversation, you pitch them on buying the course and you'll get a ton of people that buy because they'll feel so indebted to you at that point. Particularly if you take this, here's another free tip. If you could take payments on the course, pay me 200 bucks now, pay the other, you know, 800 bucks over the next three months and get it on an auto debit on their credit card, you'll sell a shitload of that way. So anyway, that's the entire funnel in a nutshell. You create the group, you do it by giving free uh, help to people in your local area. Then you take the results that they're going to inevitably share, put those into package that up and do an ad to get in front of people who's interested in the same kind of things that you solve in your business to get them to join a group which they're in the group, you use the email that you get when they, before they join that group to keep involved in the group or involved enough till it builds a habit with the person. And then you've got an extremely, extremely profitable audience of people that you can hit with another Facebook ad that asks them to buy or ask, you know, gives them a free consultation in which then you can use that opportunity once you're on the phone with the person to sell them whatever you want. That's the whole funnel. So, We've done this specifically in the weight loss category. We've done this in the business opportunity category. Like I said, like a, like a car cleaning business type of situation where the person wanted to sell courses, the weight loss. It wasn't a personal trainer. I can't tell you exactly what their product is, but basically similar to that. We've also done this in the hair restoration space now where they had a product that was good. They actually got results in, in terms of regrowth of hair. They could prove it mentioned that they should start this group up and instead of trying to get people that sold with a landing page that they may or may not believe, start up the group and then just make people aware of the other people that are using this product that are in a group and are giving each other tips. You'll do well and did do extremely well of which the people who are involved in the group and the, the funnel, the bottom of the funnel, they're all getting at least 
at least 800% ROIs. It's into the thousand plus range uh, most of the time, at least for two, to, two of them. One might be in the eight to nine hundred dollar range, or eight to excuse me, eight to nine hundred percent range. But they're all extremely profitable. And if you're wondering how much it costs to get somebody to join the group with the initial ads, so you can build your uh, group membership up and audience to market to with your bottom of the funnel ads that ask them to buy the product or to get on a free co consulting call to then sell their, your product or services to them. You're talking about really cheap. You're talking about $15, $10, you run the campaign for a while, $5. Why? Because that content's so juicy. So you spend a, more time offering free help to offer a resource that's an irresistible. And then once you've gotten that in place, it costs you five bucks once you ran the campaign for a few months to get somebody in there and interested. And uh, that's why you can make a thousand plus percent return uh, because, well, that's what the campaign generates to a targeted audience who's already in your group and engaged in your group. But still, if you factor in and had to factor in the cost to get them in the group, which is basically nothing, that's why that campaign can spin off a thousand percent ROI and still does, even considering what it costs to get them interested in the group itself. And of course, it's free to be able to offer free advice to get the initial group going. So there's really no reason not to try this for a lot of you guys. So, Anyway, with all that said, that's that's pretty much it. You create the group, re, the resource is there, people will spend, you'll spend 10, 15 bucks starting out to get somebody to join the group. When they're in the group, you keep you have to manage that group. You'll be able to get somebody that's been in that group to buy at a very, very high rate. 20 plus percent of the people involved in that group will buy generally what you have because that's just how, how much respect they're gonna have for you and your company at that point. And you'll have a way to get them to buy that's not off-putting because you can just have an ad naturally that shows up for them having been tagged, has been in that group uh, in general. And through that, you can target anybody that's been in that group by the, anybody who's uh, clicked through your lead ad form for the ad that promotes the group in the initial top of the funnel step there and top of the funnel campaign. That's the whole method right there in a nutshell. I know the hardest part, again, is just getting the group together. Once the group's together, all this other stuff is easy. It takes not very much time. It's extremely profitable. But you got to be the one that offers the free advice to people up front to get the group have content in it and get some initial people to share the results. Or really, it could just be the results that you got from your current customers or clientele that you share that, that you're advertising to get them to the group. It works better, obviously, if the people that you give free advice to that are in your group be the and their results that they're going to inevitably share be the results you put in your ad that's going to promote and attract people to the group. Why? Because when somebody clicks through to go to the group, there's an active person they can communicate with and say, are you a real person? Like I was saying, there's nothing that beats that in terms of conveying it, it will work for them, having multiple people they can actively reach out to with real Facebook pages and real communication. You can't beat that with anything else that you could possibly do to convince somebody that is interested in the type of results you provide to believe it and think it will and can work for them. I'll wrap it up with that. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel as I have a ton of other uh, actual PPC money-making strategies like this that I go, uh, cover on this channel, stuff that we do at our PPC agency that's working, stuff that doesn't work, we let you know what that is. You can stay away from all the pitfalls and just in general, make a fortune at PPC. If you're looking to do it, this is the best YouTube channel. You're going to find actionable advice on how to make money with PPC from people that are doing it or from somebody who does it on a daily basis. So with that said, I will also say, by the way, if you have any questions about any of the content I, I gave you here, leave a question or a comment below. I go back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel. I also have a blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog with step-by-step -step instructions and advice on how to build PPC campaigns like I just mentioned here that I've also personally authored. If you want more detailed information on how to build PPC campaigns, the, the type of campaigns that we use to guarantee our clients' results at our firm here, you can find information along those kind of lines there 
as well versus the high level stuff that we have here on the channel. We just launched, by the way, a program where we have turnkey campaigns that we're promoting to the public now. Um, if you're looking to start a business, we have already working Google Ads and some Facebook campaigns that work, that all you have to do is turn on the campaign and you're gonna have profitable customers coming in at a price that's profitable. Uh, at like a 10% marketing cost that you spend on ads, you'll get, you know, of the revenue you generate from the campaign and the sales you get, 10% will roughly go to the ads. We've got campaigns like that that we can sell you, the campaigns that have been dialed in and optimized for years for our other clients, but won't either don't need it anymore or in a non -mark, another market where they wouldn't be competing with you. We give you the campaigns, the landing pages, the tracking, the exact same setup they have for a flat fee. And either you can do the work or you can outsource the work to somebody else and take a cut and have a turnkey business for yourself. If you're interested in that, you can contact me at Guaranteed PPC. We can talk about that as well. Beyond that, I'll leave it with that. I hope you, like I said, I hope you like this video and I hope to see you on the next one where I have another great idea for you, money-making strategy with PPC, with Google Ads, Facebook Ads, or another directly related PPC platform and topic. See you then.